Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Wisconsin Regional checking in team number 6574, Ferradermis, uh, a team we've been following for a couple of years now. This team uh, has been drastically improving uh, from day one to day two. Uh, I can't wait to show off more about this really cool robot. And to help me do that, I have Andrew and Elijah. And uh, this robot here has a couple iterations from their last event. We'll talk about some of those changes. Of course, uh, following that cargo path through, uh, a really cool climber that I love to show off here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Kettering University hosts three co-op employment fairs each year for incoming and current students. Participating in the co-op employment process at Kettering is a great way to begin turning robotics experience into a professional career to earn money towards graduating debt-free. If you are a senior, it's not too late to apply at kettering.edu slash apply. Competition season is here. Head on over to thebluelines.com to catch all the events each week. Don't forget to submit your clips of the week to discord.gg forward slash first updates now. Vote in the FRC Top 25 and play in our free fantasy pick'em. Catch fun shows live on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. So Elijah, we're going to start off with your uh, intake. Talk to me about uh, just general concepts of it. Any changes you made from competition to competition and uh, let's walk it through. All right, so our intake, it's pneumatic, ac pneumatically actuated. It's an all polycarb four bar linkage. Um, there's mechanum wheels on the top and also omni wheels to allow vectoring to the center. And then, so a major iteration we made, so our first regional Lake Superior, um, we had our first roller with a similar wheel pattern to the second roller with harder durometer on the outside and squishier on the inside. Sure and we were having a dead zone in the corners where we would just get stuck right here on the ball, so we would hit them and get stuck. So we made the change to all greens, and now we never get stuck. Um, yeah, I was gonna ask on that. It's interesting that you do have like more of the compliant wheels here, but then you get to a harder durometer on the sides. Yeah. So um, why did you end up leaving this here, not going all compliant so, on that run? Uh, from our testing and experience, the harder durometer on the outside does center it a little bit. Sure. So it hits these blue wheels, and then it just kind of forces it to the center because it's path of least resistance. Um, and then if it, for some reason, doesn't, then the mechanisms are there to force it to the center as well. Can we see the intake drop down? Let's bring yeah. in a piece of cargo too. I'll enable it here. That's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive way to bring it in uh, for that. So uh, the one thing I, I will talk about as we go into your indexing system is you have a couple more compliant wheels that are kind of stopping there because you do bring it in pretty pretty yeah. rough on that too. So talk to me more about uh, as we go through uh, your indexing system. Yeah, so for our intake, we do have two one-to-one -one Falcons running at about 80% speed. Wow. So it brings it in pretty fast. So we have these blue compliant wheels here that allow us to kind of grab the ball. They're spinning at slightly different speeds. So if we get two balls at once, they'll, one will go in first before the other. Sure. And then we also have this polycarb plate that you see there to prevent the ball from just shooting out. And um, so originally we were gonna add a color sensor, but we found out that our green compliant wheels, we have enough compression and they're sticky enough where it just stops the ball. So we don't, don't really need it. So we can stop one there and stop one up on our ramps, which you can see behind it. Uh, so on, on your angle that you have there, you kind of have a little bit more of that traditional 90 degree, uh, yep. but I do see those orange ramps that you put yep. uh, in there as well. So how did you like figure out kind of exactly how you wanted to fit that in and package that? Um, so it was just messing around with Sketch and CAD. So we made a nine and a half inch circle for the ball and then just started messing with what kind of angles and compression worked for us. So we wanted to have a lot of compression on the green wheels to deal with slightly deflated balls that would be smaller in diameter than the regular ones. So the design philosophy there was just be able to handle any ball without any issues. Let's uh, go into your shooter here. Uh, so looking like you got a couple, a uh, little bit almost of pre-shooter. Uh, talk to me about uh, how you've been able to control your spin of your shots. And then I'd love to hear like kind of where are your sweet spots on the field to shoot from. Yeah, so at Lake Superior, we did not have our top roller. So we actually only had this flywheel here and our hood. So afterwards, we added the top roller to control our spin, and now we have virtually no spin on our ball. So shooting from the fender, it's perfect because the no spin results in virtually no bounce outs. We've only had maybe two or three the whole regional. Um, 
We did a lot of iterations with our top roller to keep it lightweight. So we have polycarb on the side instead of aluminum. And just we really cut down those plates to cut down on weight. Uh, one thing I mentioned when we started this is that from your uh, your day one here to day two of the event, you guys have improved dramatically. What what has gone into that to uh, bring your team to a, a bit of a higher level than what you were uh, yesterday? Um, I mean, I guess for me as a driver, I'm getting more comfortable. Um, we've worked out a lot of small bugs. So yesterday we were just having little mechanical issues, and now we've got a lot of them worked out. So we're doing a lot better now. Just everything's working pretty well. Um, no real issues today. Let's uh, wrap up, talk about your climber. Andrew's going to cover a bit more about that. I'd love to hear more about your climb sequence, and if we can demo any of that yeah. as well, too, that'd be great. So the climb will start out like that so that it's inside the frame perimeter on the back here. And then to get it up high enough to reach the mid bar, we're, we raise this and rotate. And then these arms will grab onto the mid bar. These pistons actuate to close around it. And this, the entire arm swings around to reach up to the high bar. Then we can release these pistons and swing around again to get to the high bar. I mean, the traversal bar. So on, on these clamps here, is this, uh, when, when this is going, is this passive totally, or is there anything that yes. like allows you to come it's off from there? completely passive, because these ones will reach onto the traversal bar. So that's specific for traversal. Yep. Makes and sense. Then these arms have pistons on them that will release and allows half of it to drop out, so then we can get off of the high bar. That's just, talk to me about what just happened there a little bit. Yeah, these pistons pulled in, the, rotate it around you can see that the piston goes through here when they release that piston just goes in and they drop so then we can get off the high bar and get the full 15 points Makes sense in there. Well, once again, Ferradermis, thanks a lot for taking the time to tell us uh, more about your robot. As we're filming this, we're going into Alliance Selection. So, of course, wish you best of luck. Uh, but can't wait to see your robot perform a bit more. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University hosts three co-op employment fairs each year for incoming and current students. Participating in the co-op employment process at Kettering is a great way to begin turning your robotics experience into a professional career to earn money towards graduating debt-free. If you are a senior, it's not too late to apply at kettering.edu slash apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.